Meet Mendy. Mendy's a good person. Mendy is a neat, mild-mannered, well-dressed, trim-bearded, flatbush accountant. Spends time with his family, never blocks the driveway, and cares about his neighbors. Mendy takes his Judaism seriously, very seriously. For Mendy, a mitzvah is a mitzvah, period. Whether it's Sukkot, or Pesach, or Shavuos. Mendy takes his Judaism with him, wherever he goes. He's a leader. He plays by the rules, and he really loves to learn Torah. The way the Kesa Mishnah answers the steer in the Rambam. Hey, can't you just go to sleep or you're so tired? Sleep? You'll sleep later. No chamom, it's fresh guy. All is well until one day Mendy gets a wedding invitation in the mail. Leia, cousin Freddy is finally getting married. At our Lady of Rosary Church? Mendy is shocked to learn that the Jewish people are assimilating at a staggering rate of 52%. That's the equivalent of losing 100 Jews every 24 hours. Mendy feels horrified, guilty, helpless. Mendy has been apathetic for far too long. He understands it is time to do something about it. Mendy, do something! There is much to be done, but here's what you're not going to do. You're not going to leave your job. I quit! Abandon your family. The next time you see me, dear, it'll be with Mashiach by my side. Single-handedly rescue Cousin Freddy from the clutches of intermarriage. <laughs> Start a Kiruv revolution. I'm going to save you! Star in a wildly successful viral Kiruv video. Hijack the podium at the Siyum Hashas. Perform miracles. Become the new subject of a worldwide bestseller. Truth is, I owe it all to my cousin Freddy. <laughs> Risk your life spreading Torah to the masses. Hey guys, look, I got the matzah here. Just want to show you guys how to break it. What is that? Take that back to Israel. <laughs> Mix and mingle with the rich and famous. Travel to Israel. Address the Knesset. Only to be arrested. Beaten and deported. Downtrodden and depressed. Ignored. And victimized. Ready wins. <laughs> the sanity you once enjoyed is now long forgotten. You realize it's Rosh Hashanah and find your way to Shul. Only to find your replacement at the Ahmad. The next day, a limp home. Only to discover that things are not quite the same as they were. No, you're certainly not going to do all of that. Here is what you can do. You can do the shake. The shake. The shake. Doesn't take much, just open your heart. It starts with a shake. A shake. All you need is an open mind and an open hand. Say hello, be friendly. One little handshake leads to a smile, sometimes a lot more than that. Reaching out one Jew at a time. Just shake, shake, shake. So you never have to feel that way again. Stop. <laughs> Can I interest any of my boys in one of these? <laughs> Maybe? <laughs> okay, fine. You're done with that one. <laughs> Hold it up, guys. Want to hurt these Jews? <laughs> <laughs> Go home with your matzah. Wanna break your face? Uh, <laughs> 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 Are you doing? Oh, that's wild. Do you have any I questions? Do 
So yeah, the hand up. So I figured you might have some questions. Anyway, I'm here if you need me. Great, that was probably the worst I've ever heard. That was one of the worst. <laughs> you got the words wrong. I was good. The words were wrong. All right, no more.